this video is gonna be back to how it normally is <laughs> a little bit happier and bubblier than the previous one but you know <laughs> so I'm gonna actually finish off the day of the last video so the last video about Matt Hauslin was the 29th day of the Kentucky and I didn't actually finish the day so after we visited Matt Hauslin, we continued on to Hofgarten where we were staying in a what is called a Kentucky special stay so a bit like the chateau at the beginning in France this was one of these special stays and it was a really cool place to stay they'd done it up and it looked really cool and it's if you go do the I think like the winter one where you go skiing you stay in Hofgarten and so to flip the day around so we got there and then there was a really cool party that happened in Hofgarten that we all joined in at and had blue lights so like everything was like glowing and stuff I, I didn't film anything <laughs> But I'll put in some pictures for you of us at the party, but we had a really good time there. The next day, the 30th day of the Kentucky, was one of the most exciting ones and where I got to tick something off or cross something off my bucket list and then add it back on again at the bottom. <laughs> we had breakfast, we got up and then kind of had a really quite chill morning. The guest house that we were staying in had like Netflix and board games and everything so we ended up finding Trivial Pursuit even though it was missing 90% of the pieces and was playing that game and watching Netflix and basically just hanging out and chilling so that was cool and then in the afternoon we went and did paragliding yeah we went paragliding in the Austrian Alps and it was amazing I was quite lucky because the guy that I tend to paraglided with actually filmed some of it so I will put in that for you and I'll put in some pictures paragliding and it was so beautiful we could literally see Italy, Austria, Germany and Switzerland so that was, it was really cool beautiful day in the mountains and the hills and oh, it was just so cool I loved it it was really cool I won't even jump out of an airplane or do anything like that but paragliding I really like I think because it's a like free fall portion of it and it's a free fall part of it that I don't like <laughs> and I don't like the idea of but paragliding 100% would do it again like it was just so good <laughs> and then in the evening we decided that we were just gonna hang out and chill so Harry, Alec and I kind of found claimed a corner of like the dining room and watched The Greatest Showman from on my laptop because you know why not and so that was kind of nice to do as well we just kind of okay our time at Hofgarten was just really chill and relaxed and just like a regroup for the last week of the Kentucky. The next day we left Hofgarten and headed to Munich. Alec had been in Munich before the Kentucky started so he decided to kind of do what I had done in Rome and just have some Alec time and just chill and have a snooze and whatever Alec did while the rest of us went into Munich itself and did a little bit of an explore. Harry, Nat and I went up the bell tower of St. Peter's Church in Munich 
and got some really cool views of the city and everything. We did decide while in Munich that we wanted to have like a proper German pretzels. <laughs> We kind of went on this like search for a pretzel and I was like looking them up on like Google and trying to find like recommended places to go and get pretzels from. <laughs> but like every single one of the locations we went to was no longer there. Like <laughs> so so we spent some time trying to find a pretzel, which is really weird, but we did. And then we eventually ended up in a beer garden where we didn't have any beer, but we had dinner and a pretzel, because <laughs> they had pretzels. And just kind of chilled and sat around there watching the locals and the tourists and stuff. Come into the tourist category. And then because the rest of the group were, the rest of our Kentucky group were kind of gonna stay in the beer gardens and chill, and I think the coach may have been picking them up quite a bit later, and we kind of didn't want to stay and wait for the coach and stuff. So we, with a quick look on Google Maps, realized that where we were staying actually wasn't all that far away from the city centre. So we meandered our way back, which was really cool, and we ended up chatting a lot and just kind of making the world right and as we walked back to our hostel. And then we had the 32nd day of the Kentucky. So we left Munich and began the journey towards Switzerland. On the way, we passed through one of the smallest countries in the world and ended up in Liechtenstein for lunchtime. We walked around, I mean, I think there's only one city and that's the capital city of Liechtenstein. And we, so we were there and we wandered around and explored a little bit and it was very quaint, very pretty and very quiet and calm. And then we left Liechtenstein, crossed into Switzerland and went to the city of Lucerne where it was just bucketing it down. It was like raining <laughs> so much, so much rain that we went and I think we had a look at one of the places where watches are made and then we essentially had free time so we were going to explore except like I said it was bucketing down. So we kind of wandered around a little bit and then we're like, yeah, no. <laughs> and so ended up in the train station hiding from the rain until we had to go back and meet back up with the group. So that was kind of disappointing because we didn't really get to see as much as we probably would have liked to and everything. But we left Lucerne and headed towards, I think I really need to read it, Lauterbrunnen? Lauterbrunnen? Lauterbrunnen. I'll put it in here. <laughs> Sorry. In the Swiss Alps, which is where we were going to be staying that night, and we kind of left Lucerne and drove up into the Alps out of the rain, but it was just really beautiful. And like the drive to Lauterbrunnen <laughs> was really pretty and mountainous. We got there, we got our rooms and we settled down, had dinner, and then a group of us, which kind of grew a little bit as, as we keep going, found like a couch and a table and stuff and started playing card games. So we were there for quite a while playing card games, which was a lot of fun and which is why I took a pack of cards with me. So then we went to bed. That's it for these three in a little bit days. Uh, of the Kentucky. Yeah, in the next video we are still in the Swiss Alps and we are going to go and visit Jungfrau, which was kind of great. So yeah, that's the next video. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments about anything in the comment section and have a look in the description because you'll find links to my TikTok, to my blog and Instagram and social media and stuff like that so yeah go check that out and 
subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every single time we upload a video. I am uploading a video every Saturday at 6 p.m. UK time, so you definitely want to be there for that. And yeah, that's it. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, remember to explore all you see, laugh out loud, and live your dreams. Okay, bye.